Discover the exquisite beauty of Islam with our exclusive poster collection showcasing the 99 names of Allah. Each poster meticulously presents the Arabic name, pronunciation and English translation, embodying the essence of our Creator. Elevate your surroundings with these high-quality designs that not only serve as art, but also offer a glimpse into the profound beauty of Islamic culture. Immerse yourself in the collection and unveil the magnificence of the 99 names. Links in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, the Christian arguments are becoming more and more ridiculous. Today, just a quick video before we jump into it. As always, guys, if you enjoy my work, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box to further support. And now, with no further ado, let's have a look. Allah Akbar. Some will translate that as God is great. Perhaps a better translation of that Arabic phrase is our God is greater. This is a declaration that the demon and demons working through these people consider themselves to be greater than Jesus Christ, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Ephesians 6 says that our war is not just against flesh and blood, but powers, principalities, and spirits. Practically, what this means is when you see conflict in the seen realm, there is far greater conflict in the unseen realm. And when you hear, our God is greater, that is a declaration of spiritual warfare from a demon against Jesus Christ, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Did I promise too much? Those guys, man, it's truly a mental illness. This is so unbelievable. Out of a sudden, Jesus Christ becomes the God of Abraham, Jacob, Moses, etc., etc. Yes, of course, in the Old Testament, it was Jesus all along. If it was Jesus, why did he then reveal the Mosaic law to Moses just to then later abolish it himself? Of course, first he comes up with the idea, hey guys, eating pork is wrong. Hey guys, you should get circumcised. Matter of fact, I'm going to get circumcised myself. But then in the end, hmm, I was wrong all along. It is about the circumcision of the heart. This is all so extremely crazy. But let's rewind here. Allahu Akbar. This simply means God is greater. God is the greatest. That's what it means. Allah is not our God. No, it simply is the Arabic term for God. If you look into, again, Jesus Christ and the language that he spoke, you will find out that it was Aramaic. So now you just have to do a quick Google search. It doesn't take too long to check out how you call God in Aramaic. And then you find, whoopsie, it says, Allah, Jesus Christ himself addressed God, the God that sent Jesus Christ, as Allah. I know this is very hard to comprehend for Christians from the West because the religion has been so whitewashed. Jesus Christ did not speak English. Very, very big surprise, I know. Neither did he speak Greek. The New Testament, however, is in Greek, of course. Jesus Christ says in the Bible, My Father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me. Yet not as I will, but as you will. So who is Jesus saying this to? To himself because he is God. He is submitting his will to God in this passage. He says, ye will, not my will. And when he addressed God, he said, Allah ha. And just as Aramaic, Arabic is a Semitic language as well. Hence the similarities. Allah ha, Allah. Allahu Akbar simply means God is the greatest. He is greater than anything. Do not attribute partners to him because nothing is as great as God is. Do not worship anything besides God. Do not make people into gods. This was the message of all the prophets prior to Jesus, including Jesus and, of course, the last messenger, Prophet Muhammad. May peace be upon them all. They all came with the same message, worship God alone. Do not worship me. I am just a human, the prophet said. They were always pointing away from themselves towards God. Nobody is worthy of worship but God alone. So no, <laughs> I can't believe that I really have to say this. Allah is not a demon. Allah is not 
our God. Allah is the creator of the worlds. He is the creator of everything that you see and everything that you cannot perceive. He is the creator of all things. He is everybody's God. My God, your God, and of course, Jesus God as well. So please return to what Jesus actually preached and don't come up with your own doctrines. Jesus never said Allahu Akbar means some sort of demonic possession. Return to the worship of one God alone, i.e. Islam. All right, that is it for today's video. Absolutely unbelievable. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box to further support. And as always, may God, Allah or Allah bless you all. Much love and peace.